This is an erection severity chart from a ED clinic for three years on based on thousands of patients. On the left hand side is the erection strength. The middle is the size, basically how much size that you've lost. And then the vitamin D3 levels is basically uh, a correlation to the erection strength and size. Basically, uh, when you get down to 50 to 70 in vitamin D3, you're gonna start having soft erections. When you get down to 25 to 50, you're gonna have difficulty keeping erections. And then from 10 to 25, you're not even gonna be able to have an erection. The main metabolic pathways that cause erectile dysfunction uh, start with physicians improperly recommending not to get into the sun to get vitamin D3. The second thing is overlooked by the medical community. is Staphylococcus aureus bacteria that targets FGF23, which lowers vitamin D3 levels in the body. Then you've got chronic low-grade inflammation. You've got mitochondrial dysfunction, which is caused by staph. Uh, you've got macrophage dysregulation, also caused by staph. You've got endoplasmic reticulum stress, caused by staph. The main reasons men lose penis length and girth up to 20% is vitamin D3 deficiency. You have smooth muscle, which is targeted by myostatin. It controls the blood flow and maintains the erection in the penile tissue. You have macrophage dysregulation, which creates fibrotic tissue that can't allow you to get an erection or maintain an erection. The, top, the body's top two myostatin inhibitors are vitamin D3 and testosterone. The other things that cause this issue, sleep deprivation, infections like staphylococcus, cortisol, and metformin. The ED cocktail will be at the end of the video. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button and notification button to get the latest info. This page covers your nutritional injection for erectile dysfunction. Basically, you're doing 50,000 IUs the first uh, week, one shot, two shots the second week, three shots the third week. Get with your primary care physician.